So basically, what is this strategy? So we are actually looking to trade uh, only uh, previous days lows and previous days highs. So we want to see uh, the price to hit uh, the liquidity resting on these levels. And we want to use this template to receive a mobile notifications once this happens, right? So as well, the previous day's high slow should enter a higher time frame uh, level for the higher probability, but it's always not necessary because uh, if this happened as well with confluence on the dollar or the other pairs, it can be good uh, signal as well, right? So manipulation uh, and the reversal must be followed by the break of the structure, displacement, which is a fair value gap, this is what the indicator is drawing as well. And uh, without the break of the structure or included with the fair value gap, there is no entry, right? There is a few, there is a few uh, entry techniques. So we can use a fair value gap or the block optimal trade entry, right? Statistically, we have a 10 sessions per week. And if we follow the three pairs, so it's a possible 30 possible setups, but obviously there will not be 30 setups because some, some days there is not hit the previous day's low or high. So, and the last thing I want to mention just briefly, this strategy is good for the ranging conditions, not for the trending. So let's look for some examples. So basically what we are looking for is this. We want to see in here previous days highs rate. Right? So here's an example. We have a previous days high, it was straight. In this moment, uh, ICT template sends a notification like this, that previous days high, in this example is previous days low, previous days highs was hit. And in that moment, you start to look for the setup. So what you are doing then, is that you are looking and monitoring for the break of the structure. You are looking for the break of the structure. So he, you, here you got the break, but we need to see if we see another one, it's even better, right? So then this break needs to include a fair value gap. There has to be strong displacement from that uh, level, which we got. And we're looking for the pullback above 50%. So if we put a FIBO on, from here to here, our entry must be above a 50%, right? Then we're looking for the entry and the price moves somehow. Here we got again, previous day's low, which has a rate in here. Then we have a break of the structure. It's on the lower time frame because this is a 30 minutes. On the lower time frame break of the structure, pullback, and uh, price is moving. Then another previous day's high. We can see a rate during the news, right? Then you have break of the structure, but price did not pull back, right? So we not every not every setup is a possible entry. Then price dropping lower. Here you can see another previous day's low. But it was taken. But did we get a break of the structure? No, because we are looking for the break of this structure. So it's no entry. Another previous day is low here, broken, not, uh, not break of the structure yet. So here is a, another previous day is low, nothing happened yet. And in here, previous day is low, was taken. Here is a small swing, was broken, pulled back. A fair value gap and price is moving in our direction, right? So this is basically what we are looking for. And here is one simple thing, actually, where a lot of people makes a, uh, make a mistakes, right? So um, here is a simple, simple visualize or let's say scheme of this, uh, um, of this uh, strategy or what we are looking for. So what we are looking for is a three phases, right? So accumulation, manipulation, right? And then distribution phase. So what we wanna see, we wanna see price ranging uh, more preferably during the Asian session. So you can see here, Asian session, 
price is ranging, then we can see the manipulation of the previous day's low, manipulation during the whole London, right? We can see the manipulation, then displacement, price moves higher, price break the structure, and this is important, it breaks this high, which is the whole swing of this low, right? This in here is just a some pause or some, some um, swing. This is not a break, structure, break, of, break of the structure in here. You need to see this. This is where I have made many mistakes and I believe many people are doing the mistakes as well. Then we are looking for the pullback with the displacement to the order block or the below a 50% swing low in here. And here is our entry, stop loss below the liquidity rate. No worry, guys, I will give you this, uh, everyone who is watching it and uh, will be interested, I will give you this, uh, this uh, presentation so you can go through it and check it by yourself. I will show you a couple more examples. So again, in here, we have a previous day's, previous day's high, right? Was right. And price drops lower, but look, we need to see break of the structure. It was here. It didn't break. And price goes higher again, higher again, latest high. And here we have a break of the structure, or we can call it, or it could be called change of the character. And the second one is a break of the structure, right? So some traders... Uh, entering uh, on the second one. So here it was very clean. So we have seen this break. Here is a fair value gap above this liqu short-term liquidity here. Here you can have entry, sell above, swing high, and price going lower, right? So here is a schematics again. So you can go through it later. And uh, we will look uh, to another example. Right, so again, Accumulation during the, uh, it was quite longer accumulation, not just during the Asian session. Then the price drops lower. Here was the previous day's low. Drop below it, break of the structure, pull back, and price moves higher, right? Uh, entry is in the New York. This is what happens quite often, that whole our London session is used for the manipulation, right? Then we get some break and then price pullbacks during the New York and then it can move that direction. Here is a, another example. So this is what happens quite often um, when the previous week's low is broken, then price looks uh, price drops below the previous day's low, which is below the previous week's low. And then again, we get the break of the structure with the fair value gap, and we get pullback. Here could be already one uh, high risk entry. And then we, we got a, another break, and here is a entry, right? So you can see I actually had this trade. This is from my trade. Uh, here is uh, two things how to enter uh, into this in this market condition. So you can actually be entering after the first break and the retest. And the important is that if the price is above this previous day's low, right? Or you can wait for the another break and enter on the retest of this order block or the fair value gap after the second break. This technique has a uh is has actually two confirmations right so basically if you are entering on the first swing on this first swing you entering the reversal but if you entering after this this is actually already higher low higher high higher low this is actually already the or reversal on the order flow so it's more safe but uh, what can happen is that you know, it will not retrace and you will not uh, have much trade. So that's what we all have to backtest. So here is some mistakes, which uh, I have uh, realized uh, are some questions. Wait, wait, so I will, I will answer. So most important thing in the price has to be 
above previous day's highs low. Yes, Edwinas, it actually has to. It actually has to because uh, we have a we have let me so we have uh we have what happens in here previous days high slow what happens in here uh, basically of course you can trade internal in the internal liquidity range but what happens once the price goes through the previous days high slow uh what happens in here here uh, traders are shorting so they actually entering a short right so others who has been i don't know what was the structure in here uh, but for example probably someone uh, was taking a long in here maybe you know so where these traders have a stop losses in here right so this previous days lows uh, uh, previous days lows and highs are actually quite strong level where a lot of orders are pairing so basically a lot of stop losses are hit in here and a lot of new shorts will be open in here. And then uh, now think, it, think about it this way. So if the market makers, they need, want to um, open a positions, let's say want, they want to go long. So what they need to, they need someone to sell. So the person, or it could be some hedge funds or someone, it, probably not our positions, those who be entering in here the long and for example they have stop losses in here so what they do here they basically sell because if they uh if they bought here the stop loss or is actually the sell stop right so it's a sell stops and as well those who entering the breakout in here they sell as well so it's a lot of selling in here which is actually what uh, the big uh, market makers needs to uh, in order so they can buy right so that's why uh, it is important because as well i will show you later on some examples uh, that uh, it's much easier to wait to price have in the ex external liquidity range or basically in the in these extremes than uh, than predict trying to predict something uh, during the uh price action right uh and uh another 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 question is uh the change of character happens before the bos yes this is just a um i would say that this is maybe just a fancy name for the break of the structure right so yes it's a change of the character so uh, the order flow is changing now so once the once we have this uh, higher high in here after this this happened in here change of the character of the market was uh, is is changing right so then we have break of the structure but it doesn't matter you can call this break of the structure break of the structure too doesn't matter right um so um yeah uh here is some mistakes which um i have learned so basically uh I've been backtesting this a lot and uh, still if you're trading live uh, and then you're on the markets uh, you sometimes do a lot of uh, mistakes so here was a previous week's low previous day's low price went below it and look where I have entered right so basically stupidity because I should wait and un until the price break the structure but where was the structure in here basically uh, the correct structure was here because here is a high which has created lowest low right so that high which created low must be broken once this happened then i could be looking for the pullback and the continuation higher if this high this one is not broken and we can we can then we can have some higher highs higher highs higher highs in here but until this one is broken the the character of the market didn't change right so then it can continue lower right as it continued in here so the as well the big mistake is and what you you should as well do this is the one minute time frame so yes uh this is good but if you look in here on the five minutes you basically wouldn't wouldn't touch this right 
on the five minutes, this doesn't look at all as a reversal. Uh, then here is a, another mistake, and this is very important. If you, this all was looking very good, but look, we had the consolidation, then we had the manipulation, then here was some break of the structure, here was a little bit gap. But if you have another low, days low, be, just below it, don't take a trade because it will most likely comes for it, right? So how, how should we correct uh, correct execution of this trade? Uh, we have this uh, low taken, then I shouldn't do anything in here because here is another low. Once this low is taken here, we are looking for the break of the structure. Where is the break of the structure? This high, this swing high, this swing high, created the lowest low. So here is the break of the structure, right? We had the break and then we're looking for the pullback and entry, right? So I bet that if we put a FIP on this one and this one, this would be definitely below the 50%, right? And here is a order block, right? So entry should be here or maybe if we get a block like this, could be as well in here, right? So anyway, this is a uh, big mistake. And uh, I will repeat this. I will show you this uh, again. Um, I, but I need to find some uh, where I have it clear. Okay, so I will draw it in here. Uh, so uh, again, this is important uh, because uh, it sounds quite easy, this strategy. but. Uh, mm, I have done a lot of mistakes in the in the reading the price section, and I want to show you this right now. So look, uh, we have let's say we have some high in here, right? Then the price is coming into it, right? It goes through it. In this moment, we know that probably some stop losses of those who shorted already in here or in here was hit. We know that some are entering the long with expecting price to go lower. So they will have a stop losses in here. Then in this moment, liquidity appears in here. So in this moment, we are looking for the break of the structure. So where is going to be in here? We need to see this level to be broken. And uh, then look, what can happen? Price goes lower price goes higher and then you say ah okay this is it i have fair value gap in here you know it's above this i'm going to enter the short but what then happen is this because you still did not have this break of the structure right again it can happen as well like this you have this high and then price goes, let's say, like this, right? This, this. And we say, ah, okay, break of the structure. No, this is not break of the structure. You need to see break of this. This swing, which has created high. If this happened, this is just some a pullback, and you will most likely get this again. You will be fucked, and then you have the break and then it goes without you, right? So this is very important to uh, look at this and practice this on your eyes, right? So that last swing, which has created high has to be uh, taken as well. What is happening? Price goes higher and then it creates something like this. Then, then it pause a little bit and then goes again above uh, our level, right? Sometimes this is not enough. It's just some swing. You need to see this to be broken, right? So sometimes it's a lot of waiting, and uh, but it's important and it makes difference. So let's look uh, to some trading rules. Uh, as said, I have touched this just briefly, but uh, it's important to know it, right? So you need to trade only three hours, first three hours on the London or New York. I recommend focus maximum three pairs, right? Euro, pound, USD, JPY, or Aussie. Some people trading in my Discord. Enter on the first level. Mm. 
uh, fair value gap on the order block above or below 50% or retracement uh, on the FIBO. Never trade previous day low and high that has another previous days low and high resting above or below it. Let me show you if we go uh, to the platform and uh, let's say, le let's look at it if we have uh, some uh, something like this in here, right? So, okay, I need to bring a little bit more uh, history so we can see that, uh, where was it? 180. Right, so we can see it, uh, for example, in, in here, right? So you have a uh, previous days uh, high in here, and you can see price uh, touched it, but we still had the another one above above this one, right? So if these two previous days high are quite close each other, uh, you should uh, avoid trading the first one. Wait for the second one, right? For the entry. Um, As well here, we have, it was touched. Oh, it created the new one. Right, as well in here, you have a previous day's low, another one below it, another one below it. Here was another three below it. So the price went whole week for this liquidity down, right? Okay, back to these rules. Okay, only take clean setups. You only need only three winners per week, right? So I said uh, we have uh, two sessions per day. We have five trading days, three pairs. It's a 30 possible trades. There will obviously not be a trade every day, right? Never enter right before the trading uh, news events. Stop trading if two are locked in a day. You don't need much more than two hours per day. If you're risking, let's say, half percent, per trade and you gain uh, two and a half hour, it's enough. I mean, you will see if you do this consistently, you will be doing very well, right? Stop trading if you have six hours locked in the week. Then go to the demo, backtest and the journal. Uh, still continue to monitoring uh, price action every day to stay in the touch in the market and stick to your risk management no matter what. Don't be greedy, don't move stop loss too early uh, to the break even because it can take you out quite quickly. Don't change your plan because of other traders' opinions and setups. Don't let them influence your process. Think independently. This is very important. Uh, and uh, I suggest you, I'm not telling you you should trade this my strategy, but this is overall in the general uh, once you have uh, backtested and practiced your own strategy, uh, don't let really uh, influence anyone's with your opinions. Uh, this is very often, quite often mistake. Always think in the terms of the probabilities. Does my setups align with the high time frame context narrative? Is it in the sync with the multiple time frames? At least three, right? So, uh, if we come back uh, into this uh, strategy again. So basically, we can trade all the previous days lows, previous days highs, but if you put it into the context with the high time frame, let's say that the euro is bullish, uh, then it's very powerful and you should be looking only for the bullish setup. So I will show you on the end of this video, uh, but I will do the analysis for the high time frames. So I will show you uh, what the trades I will be looking for, right? And as well, be aware of your emotions, greed, revenge trading, stop trading if necessary, journal your trades and analyze them, right? So that's uh, that's actually everything to this, uh, into this, into this one. Okay, another question. Is the payment for the indicator one of monthly? No, it's one time. It's one time. Uh, how do I choose where is the correct structure? Okay. Um, you mean a uh, break of the structure or uh, by the second, do I understand correctly that you are looking at the break of the structure at last candle of the order back? 
फाइव मिनट फिफ्टीन मिनट ओके 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 सो रिगार्डिंग द टाइम फ्रेम वन मिनट इज क्वाइट स्ट्रेसफुल आई डोंट सजेस्ट टू गो लोअर देन फाइव मिनट गाइस बिकॉज वन मिनट देर कैन बी क्वाइट नॉइज है यू नो देर कैन बी यू कैन सी देर कैन बी सम ब्रेक ओके दिस इज फाइव मिनट बट वन मिनट कैन डू लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड इट रियली कैन सक यू इन टू द ब्रॉन्क इन टू द ब्रॉन्क into the wrong side of the trade right so um everyone asks you asking what is a specific time frame well it depends on what you want to trade right if you trade uh, intraday i suggest to watch a uh, uh daily 4 hours 1 uh, hour levels and trade it on the 5 minutes um let's say 1 minute uh, for the for the you need to 5 minute confirmation of the break of the structure then 1 minute uh, entry right but definitely don't make a mistake uh, just to come in uh, turn on the uh, charts on the morning uh, on the 1 minute and looking for the things you know you need to do the high time frame analysis which i will show you later uh if i j- just just jump into it uh, quickly uh because i want to explain it in here right so this is for example uh here what i am looking on the euro right so i will be trading on the 5 minutes but currently uh i'm interested only in this level or on in this one right so in here a lot of things can happen a lot of things i don't know if the i know that if price comes here or here i could get my setup right but i am not going to speculate what's going to happen in here because it can go down then up it can go sideways up then down right then it can go this down 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 you know so i don't want to be playing uh lottery in here i know i can get set up in here or in here right and i am not going to predict that it's going to go from here into here all this way i am going to predict that if i get on the lower time frame some break of the structure in here after this happen i can get this piece from the market right and something similar in here maybe as well in here that's why i got this levels as well if the price if we get them um, open on the monday you know then price section will do something like this then i will get have a new level in here some previous days low and maybe previous days high right then the price section moving in here i don't care i will be interested only in here or maybe only in here right uh, okay so i go back uh, 